Hi, this is Dave Steinberg, your mortgage guy. And we're going to be talking about points today. We'll start with the definition of what a point is, and then we'll look at whether or not you want to pay points and if they are beneficial or not. So technically speaking, a point is 1% of your loan amount. If you borrow $100,000, a point is $1,000. A lot of people have a visceral response to points. I don't want to pay points or something like that. You will have the choice of whether or not to pay points. It'll be up to you. However, be aware that there are many programs out there where you won't have a choice. I'll give you an example. Um, sometimes on someone buying an investment property would have to pay points. There's almost no way of doing that loan without them paying points. So you have to look at that and be realistic. Secondly, you want to look at the points and see what it buys you. Historically, one point has saved you a quarter percent on rate. And then you just look at your particular situation and determine whether that's worth it to you or not. Very recently, we've seen uh, situations where the trade-off on points has been very compelling. We recently got a client a loan with a rate in the low twos. Yes, they paid points, but it was just a brilliant decision for them. I do want to mention that paying points does have a tax consequence and so you want to talk to your tax advisor and understand whether or not you'll be able to deduct the points. Quite often that's a determinative factor in whether or not it makes sense. Here's the deal. Um, for most people, the decision as to whether or not to pay points, that really requires you do the analysis in detail, looking at your situation, how long you intend to, to remain in the house and other similar factors. So if you want to go forward with this, just give me a call. We can we can sit down, we'll figure it out, we'll look at the tax consequences, we'll look at the whole picture and come up with a solution for you. I'm Dave Steinberg, your mortgage guy, and I'd love to continue with this conversation uh, over the phone or whatever way is best for you. Have a great day.